so the welcome into the part two and then we start from where i left so there i was working with the height system ui now again i start from here so this is view dot system underscore ui and then there are many things but we are not using all of them we are using only those which help us to play my video that is immersive sticky and one more is if we include that is view dot ui underscore flag immersive this one okay so flag underscore hide the navigation so this part we can use so now this is done now we have to create our constructor or you can say our for sorry not constructor but the interface for this interface which we already created is called the playback state listener so i'm coming back to this and there you will see that its name is private class playback listener implements some so this class is playback state listener implements player dot event listener so the event associated with the player pause stop forward backward these kind of things so now we create or we override one function that is public void on player state changed so this function public void on player state change and then pass boolean play when ready uh, play when ready comma int play back state okay and then we go inside the body of this one and there we'll define a string which will store the status of the action so call it as the state string so this will hold the state of the listeners so we create a switch statement and then pass playback state so now we have to do certain case analysis because under different strings we'll have the different so this is case one we need exo player actually we need x simple exo player or exo player but people get confused i'll go for exo player but even if you write simple exo player there's no harm with that okay so my exo player dot no 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 not my exo player this should be simple exo player my exo player is the name of my class uh, okay so we will write the case simple exo player or exo player yes this one sometimes we are so much dependent on these suggestions to speed up our process that if they do not come then we start thinking what else to do so the simple exo player dot state is idle when the simple player's state is idle then we'll set our state string to be idle so we need to makes a string so that we can understand what actually it means so since this is an inbuilt class and the many features of this has already been we are implementing it that's why we cannot change the basic names and the variables that's why we have to stick to the plan so we are naming it as exo player and then dot state underscore idle or the idle state so 
because this framework is already ready so we cannot make so many changes into the variables so that's why the exo player dot state underscore idle that is fine so the both are this is state idle and this is also state idle then break this is the normal in our switch statement this always happens now we create three more so let me just copy and paste so the switch playback state depending on the playback state the state string is changing its value so now in the second one we need buffering so the state underscore buffering and uh, here also we need state underscore buffering so that we can understand it is what it means so okay fine this is not required because this is the part of a string I'll later change it but right now this red lines are quite threatening that's why some weird thoughts coming to the head otherwise it's fine if you write simple exo player or the exo player okay yeah this is fine oh, go with the exo player only okay so now the third one so the first we have done the state underscore idle and then state underscore buffering this is state underscore ready and then there also you make the name is state underscore ready ready then here you change the fourth option as state ended and there also you make it as state ended okay and then we need one for the default so there I can write default default colon and then I can write the state string as state string unknown error or unknown state okay break break we do not need for the default because it's automatically breaking on its own but it doesn't say that it is wrong so now we are kind of ready this playback state listener i think i need to change the spelling yeah this class is also ready now here i have added one log d i just copied and pasted it immediately that's why you couldn't see this is log dot d this is my simple log cat so that you can understand what's happening this is change the state to the state string plus player when ready then play when ready this is just loss for debugging applications if you want to debug to understand where the flaws are coming and why the system is crashing if it crashes then now here also i feel like changing the name i change it also as exo player instead of the simple exo player these things i have just changed nothing everything is as it is okay now we are kind of ready and now here i run and there you see it is running and with the default control buttons if you rotate it will automatically become the full screen all these control buttons the backward forward they are there but now we are going to have our own control mechanism we'll create our own layout and then we will embed it into this so that we can uh, have little more command over this functionalities so here i come back into the player ui and see i have added few things one is the controller layout underscore ids so i have to create one layout and that is exo underscore playback control then the show time is 10000 milliseconds fast forward is 30000 milliseconds rewind increment is 30000 milliseconds resize mode is fill use artwork is true and then the id is player underscore view now here i have already created so 
first i go into the android manifest file and there you have to use this line into the my exo player activity that is android colon config changes equal to orientation or the screen size this i am into my manifest and there you see my dot exo player is there so this part you have to do you have to make changes there now after doing this i have created this layout already because i was running out of time that's why i have just uh, copied and pasted the text here now this is a linear layout simple match content and the height is wrap content and layout gravity is bottom and the layout direction is down ltr so it's called lateral and orientation is vertical then inside that root linear layout i have another linear layout with the match parent wrap content gravity is at center padding to 4 dp orientation is horizontal inside this i have a image view and this image view contains a drawable image which is ic underscore replay underscore 10 underscore black underscore 24 dp this you can find from the android vector sets i have already downloaded so i placed it now you can see that how to find i just showing you that go click on this drawable and then next vector assets okay these are the two buttons and the same way you can find there this uh, uh, this uh, IC replay 30 forward 30 all these icons are present it is just uh, layout width is 40 dp height is 40 dp and the tint color I have provided is blue now you can change the tint color background is transparent and then the SRC is image as you since you have done the other uh, Android applications might have created that's why you, you should not have any problem to understand this so this is image button then after this image button which is for the exo play this is the play button and again it has got a styling which is exo media button dot play just you have to write the code as it is and even you don't have to change the IDs because you cannot change the IDs because these IDs with these IDs already functionalities have been attached so that's why we suggest you not to change any IDs just continue with the first one is XOFFWD that is for the forward button and uh, we are just taking some limited control because this is inbuilt layout and then if you want to customize it you can do it but the name of the file should be playback underscore control dot xml only here you can add some more features if you feel like or you can use your uh, this uh, some pop-up menus or you can say the bottom sheet bottom sheet also you can use here then all these now you see this is default layer so one is the replay forward and then play pause and then one is maximum size button all these are there so you see this is so there's nothing is also text views linear layout so inside the root layout we have the two this is the image view which i want to work with and the name is full screen then i go back into my my exo player okay this one is i am downloading from my a lot of stuff i have created that's why i feel um, this is little yeah okay so here i create the object of image view that is for the full screen and then I initialize it I have screen equal to find view by id r dot id dot full screen now with this I associate one set on click listener so full screen dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener inside that in on click view I create one display object for the display and which is very important right now because I want the exo player to run in full mode so we have to go and the get application context dot get system services pass the context dot the window underscore service get it yeah this is the type casted into a window manager and then here you see the int rotation equal to display dot get rotation 
and uh, this is the cases related to the case surface rotation 0 surface rotation 90 180 270 and then the when the screen is rotated and then it has come into the full screen then at the same time the f screens set image will changed so this is f screen dot set image resource r dot drawable dot exo control underscore full scroll enter so these are the simple things if you have done the java application because exo player is not for novices or those who are just started into the android but if you find any problem and if you really want the code then you can just uh, uh, write your uh, desire for that code in your comment line here you can change the rotations as per your requirement whatever you want because this is the rotation because whenever the where you want to embed the activity now this is our uh, link that the app controller underscore layout and then i placed exo playback control now this is and then there's nothing everything is so properly written id is the player underscore view and then the app controller underscore layout underscore id so now here run this is my welcome application this is my own project and then this one automatically comes this video is playing because the width and height everything i have put a play now if you click on this uh button then you will see it changes into the full screen at the same time it also its uh, screen is replaced and then this icon also changes now this is the emulator where these things are looking little different i tested it on my physical device also you can also test it on yours now here i see if i change the frame layout where this view is embedded to so size i made it smaller so now it says it's only half so this is how it goes everything is proper if you want to make certain changes to it definitely you can do now you see this is running with the whatever height i provided if i click on that button it becomes full screen yes here it goes and now you see the tiny icon is also changed thank you very much just subscribe to our channel and keep watching have a very nice time